so in this one we will uh, replace the hydrogen atom with an NO2 group NO2 the bond is with the nitrogen atom please remember that not the oxygen atom I will make it more clear for you so that you don't get confused so when I replace it with replace the hydrogen atom with an NO2 group then I get nitrobenzene which is N nitro this is nitrobenzene this was this will also keep occurring we will do it in some of the slides that come ahead um, this is called nitrobenzene um, okay I'm sorry I really erased that molecule but you know uh, we were we were talking about this we were talking about this hydrogen atom so if I replace this hydrogen atom this time with uh, with an amine NH2 group we have an amine group over here which is the NH2 group and uh, this becomes phenylamine this becomes phenylamine and uh, now let's do the last one which is the, uh, uh, we'll do two more uh, let's do the second last one so if we have a CH3 group over here which is the methyl group we call it methyl benzene because we have a methyl group attached to a benzene molecule so we have methyl benzene and the last one that we are going to do is we, we attach a carboxylic acid group over here CO2H and when we attach a carboxylic acid group over here this becomes benzoic acid So this is benzoic acid and so these are some common aryl compounds I, I hope you've taken a note of them because if you remember the names it becomes easier for you in the paper and uh, now let's move further so um, in our AS levels we did the electrophilic addition mechanism we did the nucleophilic substitution mechanism we did the nucleophilic addition mechanism and now we are going to do, do the electrophilic substitution mechanism so electrophilic substitution now uh, before we do electrophilic substitution let's go back to electrophilic addition so we had uh, electrophilic as in here so I'm not writing the entire thing I'll just make uh, this over here because electrophilic we had the same thing and instead of substitution we did addition So what we did uh, in electrophilic addition was actually I'll write the entire name for you it should just take a few seconds electrophilic addition so what we did in electrophilic addition we were reacting some halogens with a uh, with alkenes we were reacting different things with alkenes uh, in AS levels I think we just did halogens so we had an ex alkene for example we had ethene which is so we had ethene and what we had was a halogen atom so let's, let's take Br2 So this was our electrophilic addition mechanism. I'm not doing electrophilic substitution right now. We'll do this in uh, in some time. Uh, let's do electrophilic addition first so that we remember our basics. 
And so what we had was that as this...